Welcome back to Darkwood. So, a new day in the swamp. The three have visited us again. Just traded for some basic necessities, used up most of my reputation with them. Just buying boards and nails and rags and ammo and stuff like that. And while I was looking around here, I realized that there's this corpse here that I had never searched. There's some stuff on them, but most interestingly, there's a note. Uh, I guess I'll just probably sell the knife and the flare. Uh, let's see, the map is outdated. It must have been prepared around two years ago. The woods have changed considerably since then. Moreover, it's so ragged, it's barely readable. However, I think I can make out the position of the cottage near... Th oh my god, I'm getting so many notifications. New journal entry, spare parts for the compressor? Damn. Oh, it disappeared. No. Oh, well. Okay, let's see if I can read this. It is quite stained and old. Day one. 13, 15 hours. The compressor is broken. So is the lock on the trap door leading to the underground. Had to use a blowtorch. Fucking moisture. Day two, 1200 hours. We took 45 photos of the tree from the observation point in the vicinity of 3C. It grew twice its size in a month. Really quick, even for the f local standards. Day two, 1520 hours. I'm slowly running out of oxygen. I've sent two men to search the nearby junkyard. Maybe we won't have to go back for spare parts for the compressor. Watch out for the cottage near the junkyard, marked building on the map. Someone could be living there. Marked building on the map. Day 2, 1812 hours. At least 10 locals lurking between the trees. How do they know about us? We won't be able to gather our equipment in time. The risk of getting detected is too high. Need to evac. Ooh, some very interesting information here. Let me absorb this a little bit. Okay, so it looks like the military was definitely stationed here trying to combat or at least study whatever strange phenomena were happening here. So there's an observation point in the vicinity of 3C that they used to take pictures of the tree. So this is 3C, this swamp zone, I guess. Some sort of military map. I see a 2C over there. Which I'm taking to mean there's probably other zones that have similar problems to this one. Um, another thing is that if you look at this, this line here, it says 21 on it. And what door did we open to get into the underground? Door 21. So this must be the underground place. It's marked 21 for whatever reason. The whole underground passage. Not much use to us now, of course, since it was blocked and caved in. But it looks like it would take us out of the vicinity of at least 3C and 2C, whatever that means. Um, also, I'm slowly running out of oxygen, so why did they need oxygen? What did they need oxygen for? Just to breathe in general? Maybe to avoid getting infected? I don't know, maybe just breathing in those spores, those strange white spores coming from those strange white things. Maybe that's what infects you or something. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna check the map and read the journal in just a sec. I also noticed another body over here and I don't know if I searched this one. body of a man wearing a helmet. His head has been severed. Whoa. I need to search this place better. I guess when I first searched this place, I really was just looking for supplies to hunker down. I wasn't looking for bodies. A severed head inside a helmet. That is disgusting. Someone scratched out the word liar on the helmet's viewfinder. That's also what was scratched on the floor in the village 
in one of the buildings. The, the village here in the swamp, not the other village. Why? Liar? Why liar? Key to the underground? Well, pointless now. Weird book. Huh. Can't change pages. At first I thought this was like a strange drawing of mushrooms and stuff, but no, it looks like it's actually just like mushrooms growing out of the book. Or dissolving it or something. Huh. Are there any other bodies around here? Let's take a quick look. Definitely none inside of the buildings, I would have noticed that. I don't want to get too far, or time will start. Okay, seems like that's it. So let me dump off a couple of things I got. Or... Actually, maybe I should sell them. I want to sell at least the knife, because I have no use for that at all. I'll keep the extra battery... Yeah, I'll sell the knife. Real quick. And we'll take a look at the journal. Look at the map. It's the lovely three again. I don't think there's anything more I want to buy. I'm doing okay on fuel right now. Okay, that's good. So, what's been added here? Cottage near the junkyard. Huh, it's kind of off the map. So junkyard's somewhere around here and we'll have a part for the compressor. Which I guess will allow me to... Fill an oxygen tank, but I don't think I have an oxygen tank. And what purpose, uh, what use would I have for one anyway? There must be a purpose. That feels like a big quest, and I'm going to need it for something, but I don't know what exactly. Yeah, these are gas tanks. So, not a tank of oxygen, right? Alright, let's take a look at the journal. This one, way home. Peculiar man, the swamp. Oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> That's a nice image. Broken compressor. I found a broken compressor used to fill up oxygen tanks. Day 28. I met a crippled old man in a flooded village. He's the last living inhabitant there. He begged me to destroy the talking tree. He claims I first need to get to the cellar located near the tree. That's how I will find its roots, which I need to burn. According to him, it's the only way to get rid of the abomination. An advice from a blind, deaf old man with no legs is the only lead I have so far. It's not much, but I've grown accustomed to it. Day 29. Old journal. I found an abandoned journal in the swamp hideout. I've managed to mark the village with the tree on the map thanks to it. The old journal also included information about a cottage located near the junkyard. According to the notes, I will, be, I will be able to find some spare compressor parts there. They might come in handy. The village with the tree is marked. Well, <laughs> already found it. But I guess it would have marked this if I hadn't. Hmm. So should I head back to the village? I mean, there's still so much to explore there. I feel like they're pushing me towards that. I feel like I feel like I should explore that until I hit some sort of a wall. So yeah, let's go back, and I'm gonna take with me an exploding barrel and a gas tank. Two gas tanks? I don't think I need two gas tanks. Let me dump one, and I'll meet you over there at the village. Okay, so here we are at the village again. Ah, uh, tree's gonna try to, to grab onto me again. It wants me. Um, where have I been and where have I not been? Because I kind of rushed through here before. 
So this area is a complete dead end, right? I have to go around the other way. Oh, and this is where Liar scratched onto the floor. Okay, definitely have to go down here. Ah, oh, right, this is where I need the shovel to dig. Uh, one day. This is where the person is. Anything new to say? Nope. Okay. Let's explore calmly from here. Without having to rush. So one of the things I want to try, just to satisfy my curiosity, is I'm wondering... Walls like this, where you can kind of see through them and they look brittle and messed up, can you... blow them up? It's unlikely, but I want to try. So there's where, here's where I started rushing, right, towards the tree. Because they wanted me to. So, let's take it slow. In fact, let's go down first. Before getting close to the tree. Unfortunately, I couldn't make a lantern, by the way, so I've just got the flashlight. I guess I'll take it out right now. Ooh. Hmm. It's interesting. The first time you look at it, it has a code, but then after you try the code, it resets it. I don't think it means anything. Woo. Oh, just the eye thing lighting up. Okay. Lottery ticket. Oh. Does that mean what I think it does? I don't think it's the good kind of lottery. I mean, if there even is a good kind of lottery. I don't think it's the money sort of lottery. Mm. Well, none of it's in English, of course. I don't know. Maybe it is the normal sort of lottery. But I'm just thinking with all their food shortages and things like that, it could be more like a who gets to eat today lottery or something. Or who gets killed so that others can eat them sort of lottery. I don't know, it seemed relatively normal looking though. Is this a well? Oh, it's so cool. There's actually a 3D effect. You can see how deep it is. Well, whatever it is, I can't examine it. Whoa. Oh, hi. Ooh. Didn't want to waste ammo, which may not have been wise, but worked out. So that will lead over to the chest, I think. Could have also just walked through there. <laughs> Would have worked too. Oh, no, that doesn't lead to the chest. Hmm. Looks like there's a barricaded window right there. And that looks like the only way there. 
Lights out of power. Brought one spare battery. Roots are trying to take over this wheelbarrow. Or not wheelbarrow. Uh, cart. It basically dissolved into the ground. Does this generator work? Huh. Wow. Basically no fuel though. Okay. Uh, I can't decide where I want to go. Where do I go first? Where does this go? Wait, is that the backpack I saw a while ago? Where... where is this? I remember when I came into the village I saw a backpack somewhere. Map? The ruins of an old cottage has been marked on the map. It contains a caption. Holes. Worth checking out. Bandages and another piece of fine fabric. Wow. I think I'm going to be able to max out my hotbar. Is it... The cottage near the junkyard? Because I don't see anything else marked. Oh yeah, this is one of the ways I could have walked, right here. Right from the entrance. The figure of the shrine bears the signs of teeth. It's partially eaten. I wonder if it's someone else that uh, managed to get that wood eater trait. Eating wood heals you. So this just leads to the rest of the village? Yes. Okay, let's go back down. Or over here. Oh, dead end. Yeah, I can't dismantle it. So how do you get in there? No door. Window. It's too strong to dismantle. Can you blow it up? I'm not going to waste my last explosive barrel, though. Because I'm going to try that on the entrance to the tree. I could also just bust it open. Let's just do that. Every day I can hear him more clearly. I can't see anything. That was from the past. Another person frozen in time. Damn, these batteries run out fast. Oh, medium caliber. Oh, but I don't even have the assault rifle with me anymore, do I? Nope. I don't need the pills. I don't really need the bread either. Okay. Oh, crap. That body's moving. Is that a burster or is that a chomper? I can't tell. 
Let's get the torch on here. I feel like that's a chomper. Good call? I think. I think so. Okay, that loops around. So that's that's all explored over there. I'm gonna turn this on just for a couple sweet seconds of light. That's explored. It's a corpse there. Can barely see him. Bunch more flares. Came from that way, so let's look down here. Log pick. I don't think so. Oh, I see Lyre written on the ground again, I think. All over this place, it looks like. Yeah, look at how little of the durability it takes, because I've upgraded the, the axe. Oh, not- oh, it's not Lyre, it's Thief. Axe Blade? Ooh, that's worth a lot. Um, I kind of want the bottle for the lantern. I don't really need flares, I guess. It's really not too much here I want to dump. Oh, I can turn the wires into a lockpick. Although I don't know if the lockpicks will stack to four. They do. Good. Freed up one space. Scrap metal or gasoline? That's worth more. Why don't I go use that right now just to fill up this generator? Just to make me more comfortable. So satisfying. Photo of three boys. Three boys? Somebody scratched out the word thief on the photo. Three. It's an interesting number, is it not? The three? Perhaps? The ones walking around? Probably making those strange noises, driving that old man crazy as they said the three traitors are they stealing their goods is that why thief is everywhere Ugh. creepy as hell uh, I guess I'll leave the wire I don't have room for anything. Okay, we need to be heading home soon. Not just yet, but soon. So I might as well turn the generator off. I think it's time to head closer to the tree. Sickle. Pliers. Is that what I need to upgrade the workbench? I don't remember what I need exactly, and the sickle can be sold for quite a lot. 
What do I dump? Rag, I guess? I kind of need rags, but they're not actually worth much in terms of money. Yeah, I totally missed that corpse before. They just blend in. They're all just absorbed into the ground and taken over by roots, and it's hard to see them. Okay. Well, while I'm here, I'm pretty close to that area where I was before with the underground entrance. I don't want to head home just yet. Horrible wailing. Let's head back here real quick. Yeah, basement hatch. Still can't enter it. Leading to the basement. Blocked from the inside. Someone tried to break it open. So let's try to explode it. So far, exploding it has not worked for literally anything. But we'll try it. I think that's a no. Yep, that's a no. Alright, we better get home. Okay, so we explored almost everything. This may be a little bit up there, but I think that's most of it. Oh yes, I guess there's a quick way out over this way, huh? Should be a quick way out. Yeah. Okay. Let's pray we survive the night. We have a lot of really good loot. We can definitely make a lot of money. Maybe. We might even be able to afford making... Yeah, it is the plier that I need to upgrade the work the workshop. Uh, but yeah, we might even have enough money to buy a shovel and all that stuff and maybe clear that rubble. Axe blade, sickle. Nice car alarm in the background. Enjoy. Oh, I need to cook the food before it becomes nighttime, or it's gonna rot and I won't be able to cook it. Ah, oh, here we go. Ah, oh, yeah, I need to make the... Oh, I can't craft any more of this type. Oh, I can't even make the hot bar any bigger. Well, I, that's just more money then. These are both worth 225. We're going to be kind of rich tomorrow. So that's pretty nice. Okay, uh, almost night time. Explosive barrel thingy. Put that away. Sure, don't care. Give me a pill. Make another Molotov. We need stuff and things. Very important. I don't think I have enough nails to... No, I already boarded up everything I can, which is not much. I think I did the door in this window, and that's it. Here we go. Please turn on, thank you. It's a little bit dangerous to save ammo like that, but gotta make use of my axe, you know? I can always moth and scream if I have to.
I only wish the moth sound effect wasn't so loud. It makes it hard to hear the monsters. Dead centipede. Didn't even get a hit on me. Thank god. That was fucking terrifying. This chair is bothering me. It's really in the way. Sounds like we're fine. You know, just before I end the episode, I'm curious, can I show the three the picture of the three boys? Nope. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return... If I can get the stuff together for a shovel, I'm going to head back to the village just for a little bit to uh, clear the rubble and see what else we can discover. And then I'm assuming that probably won't take the whole day, so I think I'll start to explore in the area around the hideout. 